With more cell phones than Americans, it's logical emergency personnel view mobile devices as important communication tools to alert people as soon as possible that their lives or property are seriously at risk. That's why the FCC, FEMA, and the wireless industry developed the Wireless Emergency Alerts. WIA allows customers who own wireless phones and other enabled mobile devices to receive geographically targeted text-like messages alerting them of imminent threats to safety in their area. New technology ensures that emergency alerts will not get stuck in highly congested areas, which can happen with standard mobile voice and texting services. There are three different kinds of alerts, presidential alerts issued by the president, imminent threat alerts that include severe man-made or natural disasters, and amber alerts that meet the U.S. Department of Justice's criteria to help law enforcement search for and locate an abducted child. So what are the benefits of WIA? Well, the service is automatic, no need to download an app or sign up. Neither mobile users nor the agency sending these alerts are charged for them. WIA uses a point-to-multipoint system, which means alert messages will be sent to those within a targeted area. So even if you're away from home, as long as your cell phone is on and has a signal, you will get the alerts wherever you are, regardless of where the phone is registered. When the alert is sent out, the alert has a unique audible signal and vibration cadence so all consumers, including individuals with disabilities, are aware of the danger. These alerts are no more than 90 characters and include the following information. Who's sending the alert? What is happening? Who is affected? And what action to take? 24 cities and counties across California have already signed up for this service. To double check and see if your phone is set up to receive these alerts on an iPhone 5, you need to go into Settings, Notification Center, and scroll down all the way to the bottom to make sure the alerts are switched to the on position. Of course, this will vary by device manufacturers and carriers. You also have the power to turn this off, but emergency managers really don't recommend it. The goal of this program is to save lives and property as we build a disaster-ready nation. In Sacramento, Lily Wyatt for Cal OES.